I gotta be honest, I had no clue what I was in store for in this film and the possibilities coming out of this film. And I, it was just right in my face and I can't believe I wasn't able to pick up on it until the very, very end. Nonetheless, you all should be excited. We're going to break down um, and discuss this new film that's going to be dropping on Amazon Prime Video uh, very soon. So let's get into the review of this right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're reviewing the highly anticipated film, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, which is dropping on Amazon Prime Video April 30th. Man, I got to tell you, I just really had no clue. I had no clue. I didn't, I didn't put it together until the very, very end. I'm going to start off by saying you absolutely want to stay for the after the credit scene. So you can be just like me and say... Oh my God, Why? how did not see that coming? How did not see that coming? Well, with that being said, for the fans of Tom Clancy, whether it's his books, whether it's his video games, whether it's the television or movies, everyone wins here. And then even if you don't like the source material, if you want a good action film, you you will be pleased. And even if you don't want a good action film and you're just here to see Michael B. Jordan take his shirt off, well, he does it because he does it in every movie. So like, yeah, you're 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 covered too. But nonetheless, for all you Tom Clancy diehards here, or just anybody who have, you know, disliked some of his other stuff that he's done, including Jack Ryan, which is on Amazon Prime Video, you're like, hmm, wait, is this all in the same universe? It absolutely is. And if you don't know who the main character that they're talking about in this film, and John Kelly, uh, who ultimately becomes John Clark, uh, this is his origin story. And the fact that they are, they're they're both in the Jack Ryan universe and they're both held properties by Amazon Prime Video. Think about the possibilities here. You have John Krasinski, who's Jack Ryan, alongside of Michael B. Jordan, who's uh, who's uh, John Clark. Them on the same screen, not to mention season three of Jack Ryan is coming out this year. Them on the same screen could be epic. And then... Because I love the series Jack Ryan as his own, I thought this I thought this film was very solid. Like the possibilities of what they can do going forward is amazing. And I mean, again, when you're talking about the the after the credit scene, you know, John Clark, a guy with a lot of good ideas, he decides that like, yeah, he he's ready to contribute back to the fight against terrorism. So he wants to put together a multinational counter terrorist team. What does that mean, folks? That means that this could be and is the creation of Rainbow. And if you have no clue what that is, you may have heard of that very popular game, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six Siege, which is super popular right now. And the fact that they could be going towards that, oh man, oh man, man. And then when you think about, well, who will be a part of it? If you already got two really good cast members essentially right now, this could be this could be dope. This could be dope. And I'm all for it. So wow. But anyway, let's talk about this film now. Again, this is the origin story of John Kelly, who ultimately becomes John Clark, uh, who is one of the most popular characters in the Tom Clancy Jack Ryan universe. He is an elite Navy SEAL where his wife and um and uh, and an uh, unborn child was murdered. By, by Russian soldiers who came back in retaliation. So after they went over to Russia and did what they did, Russia paid 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 back the, the, the debt. And, you know, the CIA looked at this was just like, hey, this is sort of a karma thing. You know, we did that, we're guilty of that. This is their payback. Let's just wipe our hands with it because uh, we don't want to create any further tension with Russia and start a war. You know, ever since the Cold War, where things were really heightened between the two of them, you know, we don't we, we don't want to go that, back down that path. However, John Kelly decides that he's going to take justice in his own hands because this is a man who has nothing to lose here. He lost his wife, his unborn child, and essentially his nations kind of turned their back on him because they, you know, they not understand the circumstances that he's in, how this isn't right. And this is a dangerous man, a, a guy who essentially has nothing to live for. And now he's going back to make to make do uh, for this. 
Uh, with that being said, you know, it puts him in a position where he's torn between um, his own self-honor and his loyalty to his country. And he, now he has to, uh, put, you know, he takes the fight in his own hands, but at the same time, he uncovers a, a huge conspiracy over it all. Um, as you know, John, when, when you talk about Tom Clancy, it's always some form of a conspiracy or something going on here. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is a typical Tom Clancy film. Storytelling, filmmaking, all of that. Uh, a good action, uh, twists in the plot, you know, as as much like he always does and, and tells. The sound quality is really, really good in this because with a lot of explosion and a lot of flying bullets and whatnot, you don't want to drown the dialogue out between, you know, uh, the different people by all of the action that's going on. It does a good job of making sure that you can hear, but also enjoy the sounds of war that's going on around them. This uh, happens to take place in Washington, D.C., which is the area I'm in, and uh, seeing an accurate depiction of D.C. minus the traffic uh, is always uh, puts a smile on my face. They definitely were uh, in D.C. correct. <laughs> they weren't in a fake D.C., so that was pretty cool. The stunts were really good. Um, I, okay, the stunts was okay. I, I enjoyed them. Uh, more or less, I'll, I'll talk about it, but more or less, some of the action sequences in, in all was just really, really good. Lauren London, who plays Pam Kelly, who is the wife of John Kelly, uh, you know, Lauren London, the wife of, uh, of, of, of Nipsey Hussle, who has recently, was recently murdered. Uh, it's good to see her back on screen, uh, doing what she does best. She's had a really tough time, so to see her back in any capacity, even though it was very limited, uh, was definitely good to see. Coleman Domingo, who I'm a huge fan of, very limited role, but it, I'll take anything better than that. Uh, he was, he's also in this film. And then somebody I was very interested in seeing in this film was Jody Turner-Smith, who plays Karen Greer, who's also a seal in this film, who's from the film uh, uh, Queen and Slim. And I've been waiting to see her in something else. I've been wanting to see where is the elevation of her acting. And um, she definitely takes a step forward here. She's a total badass. She doesn't take um, she doesn't take any slack from anybody. And uh, really menacing at times. But nonetheless, you know, this film starts you off right in the drama and all of the action. It wastes no time. And, and, and to be honest, it's action nonstop. Um, there's really rarely any dull moments in it. Uh, because again, when you have, you know, the seals attacking the Russians and the Russians immediately coming to pay back. And then John, uh, Clark is like, look, I, I gotta go do, do some investigation and taking things into my own hand. It's essentially a revenge mission. And, um, it's, it's, it's a war between two nations that really hasn't elevated to a complete war because they don't want that to happen. But nonetheless, there is war on home front, uh, between the two. Uh, Michael B. Jordan does a good job in his role, uh, really balancing the dynamics between him being emotional, but also um, being kind of fierce in the action. And uh, of course, he again, he does his whole thing where he has to be shirtless and whatnot. He does have some really good sequences. There's a jail sequence that is really good. That's in the trailer. Um, and there's also um, a couple of other hand in hand combat scenes that he does uh, pretty well. But yeah, like I said, speaking of action, um, explosions were done really well. It wasn't over the top like, you know, how like Michael Bay does or like the Power Ranger. It wasn't nothing crazy like that, but they do, they were done pretty practical. Quite frankly, there was a time where I thought the explosion would be much bigger and it wasn't. So like, that's just how reasonable they were. Like, I was even expecting it to be much more crazier and it didn't. So they kept it really marginalized on that. And to be honest, it felt much like any other Tom Clancy's project, the score, the sound of status, the drama, the plot twist, all of it really came together like a typical Tom Clancy movie. I'm um, in the CIA doing CIA things, shall I say. You know, the times when you start wondering, like, who's really the bad guy in this, you know? So, and there was some epic action and effects. Um, one that's also in the trailer, the, the plane crash and sequence is really dope. I love the visuals on that. Quite frankly, I like where that went, but I also was intrigued because the visuals were were, were um, are, are really good the entire time. But initially, before this plane crash, they was getting ready to do a jump out of a plane, and I really wanted to see how that was going to look at night, like with the low light shot or whatever. Um, even though it's a special effects, I really wanted to see how that was going to look visually. Uh, but instead, we got the uh, the better of that and the plane crash in sequence, which is really dope moment in the film. You're going to love to check that out. Um, 
But nonetheless, uh, you know, Michael B. Jordan, he steals the action. And I'm not saying he steals the action because he's the best action person in the film. I'm saying that because he's probably the only person really doing all of the action in the film. <laughs> it's really mostly centered around him. Um, much like other Tom Clancy projects as well. I thought the dialogue was kind of corny, but like, you know, that's that's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't need like heavy dialogue and good action. Like, I'll take the corny one-liners and good action and be totally satisfied with that. Um, another thing, too, I think that uh, this film does a lot. And again, this is really towards Tom Clancy Styles, a lot of moments of disbelief where things seem to be one way and they're not. Um, he does a really good job in, in, in really trying to trick its viewers. But if you watch enough of his stuff, then you're, you're, you're caught on to his antics. But uh, nonetheless, I thought it was a good, entertaining movie. I had fun with this. I love the possibilities of where this could go. Um, and I will watch it again if it's on. I don't know what I ultimately go out the way for it. Like if this was something I had to, like a like would I buy on DVD? Probably not. But like streaming, if it's on, I, I definitely would check it out because I thought it kept my attention the entire time enough for me to really enjoy. It. And there was definitely certain parts of this film that I was like, yeah, that's that's really dope. I'm really feeling that. Um, I, again, I love the visuals, and uh, I just uh, you know some of the final scenes of this film is really really done well. And then also even um, even if it if it, if it's really Russia or whatever, but the depiction of Russia, I love. Uh, how that looked as well too. This one shot of him kind of driving off in Russia was really, really cool. Really, really cool. Um, but nonetheless, you do not want to miss the credit, the the mid credit stinger. You do, you got to see it for yourself. It's crazy. I can't wait to see where this possibly can go in the future. Uh, again, if we're doing something with uh, 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 John Clark and Jack Ryan. And, the, and they're forming Rainbow, then bring it on. The fans, we want this. Bring us more. Tom Clancy just knows how to just print out his own money. Like, at this point, now he can't do no wrong. He's just winning on all forms of media. And, like, I'm pretty sure he has a podcast or whatnot. <laughs> but at this point now, like, he just knows how to really... Um, he, he's in, in his genre and in, in, in his niche, he does a fantastic job in delivering exactly what you expect. And this is just no different for it, so... Uh, but yeah, definitely check this out. This is Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. Jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about this film. As always, stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching, folks.